The annual Tech Awards honor those benefiting humanity through technology in a variety of categories. This year's Environment Award goes to a Nigerian doctor transforming slaughterhouse wastewater into energy. The greenhouse gases, which will have contributed to climate change and global warming, is captured. And at the end of the day, people have environmentally safe organic fertilizer to replace chemical fertilizer. That's another advantage. And in addition, they have cooking gas. In the health category, an American company developed rice grain fortified with micronutrients to prevent malnutrition. Which underlie a lot of the disease um, and don't allow kids actually to uh, recover from disease like diarrhea and acute respiratory infection and malaria. Um, they're not able to recover from these infections because they have a deficiency of micronutrients in their body. The Tech Equality Award went to a Silicon Valley organization that created a free online tool that calculates fair wages for artisans worldwide. We've been able to actually increase um, wages for more than 27,000 women in the developing world um, by 20% or more. Uh, so we work with local businesses and at this point um, 700 businesses in 61 countries have actually adopted the fair wage guide into their business practices. And the Economic Development Award goes to a South African corporation developing inexpensive zinc fuel cells that generate energy. So that children can have better learning education programs, that you can run a little laptop, that you can send an email, that you can charge your cell phone, that women can use sewing machines, electric ones, to make better products. So it has a wide application. Each winner receives a $50,000 prize for their efforts. Haven Daily, The Associated Press, San Jose, California. Be a little bit more careful with our resources.